Solar batteries are about to get a whole lot more expensive and here is why. These increases in prices are not coming from installers being greedy. It's not because demand has suddenly exploded. It's all to do with a new policy that has just been released in China that kept batteries artificially cheap in the first place. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you exactly what that means for a UK installation in pounds and pence. For years, the cost of solar and battery products have been slowly decreasing. More manufacturers have entered one of the fastest growing markets in the world, net zero. And as the supply chain grew, competition increased and prices dropped. But there was something else helping keep prices super low the industrial and financial power of the Chinese government. To keep Chinese manufacturing competitive, they ploughed in billions of subsidies into the market to keep prices low. And that support is now being withdrawn. Let me explain how all of this worked. China uses something called an export VAT rebate system. Now we actually got to see this firsthand because on a recent trip, we went out to China and we were given full access inside Chinese battery manufacturing factories to make sure you don't miss that video hit that subscribe button but how does this actually work now basically chinese manufacturers buy the materials and components inside of china they pay vat when they purchase them and when that finished product is ready to be exported the government refunds part of that vat back through the export rebate scheme and this allowed manufacturers to sell their battery products abroad at much lower prices than the true cost structure justifies. Essentially, their margin, how much money they make per sale, was the same at the lower, more attractive selling price because the Chinese government subsidized it. And that is exactly what is being changed right now. Now for context, solar panel manufacturers had access to the exact same scheme, well, a similar one. And that's already been reduced from 13% down to 9% and from April, 2026, that gets removed entirely. Now panels haven't really increased in price since the cutting rebate, so why would batteries increase? The reality is that panels were already oversupplied, overstocked, and we haven't got through that low priced equipment yet. As soon as the companies have sold off their stock from before April 2026, we'll be seeing solar panel prices increase across the board, but businesses generally have less battery units stocked relative to solar panels. And so this process is going to feel much more of a sudden change. Now, what is actually happening with battery rebates? Well, they are being phased down from 9% to 6% through most of 2026. And then as of January, 2027, removed completely. Essentially, China is trying to prevent the current panel issue whereby manufacturers are producing more panels than there is demand, which has led to these overstocked and underpricing issues rearing its head in the battery market. If you take away the subsidy, increase the price, demand drops and the whole thing should level out. Now to be clear, this isn't speculation, this is coming directly from news sources. Reuters recently reported that China is removing the export VAT rebate to curb what they call excessive involution style competition. Now this phrase sounds very academic, translated it simply means too many companies are destroying their own profit margins by reducing the selling price just to keep volume and production moving. Now normally this would be interesting but not super urgent. If China was a small supplier that was, but it isn't. China controls over 28% of the global manufacturing chain for solar panels. And also China produces more than three quarters of the batteries sold globally, which meant three out of four buyers are going to feel this price movement straight in their pockets. And the stock markets didn't wait around to debate it. Lithium prices shortly after the announcement jumped by 9%, with buyers trying to get in quick before the rebate takes effect to get their hands on that material. CATL, one of the largest cell producers in the world, saw their share price take a tumble as soon as this 
was announced. Investors clearly felt that battery producers will be under some pressure. Increased prices will lower demand. That's the strategy. Lower demand means lower profit. Now, before I give you the cost implication as a consumer, I just want to be clear about something. This initial move is one step towards the end goal of completely removing rebates altogether. As I said earlier, China produces over 80% of the batteries sold in the world. They control the market and we don't have many levers to pull and fight back with. This is classic business tactics. Look at Uber, Netflix, they launch at low prices, get users accustomed with their product and then hike the price once they feel comfortable enough. And on that subject, let's talk about pricing. Right now on the Heatable website, a typical SIG Energy battery system will cost you about £6,700 installed. You can get your own quote online in 60 seconds on the website. Check the link below in the description. This rebate adjustment will hit pretty hard as roughly 65% of that job value is the battery hardware itself. So theoretically, if that full 9% rebate is passed through onto the hardware, then expect to pay somewhere between four and £450 more for that battery install post this change. Now my guess is that SIG Energy won't pass this on, but I'm gonna come back to that in a bit. Now, lots of questions are flying around about the market, such as will supply chain seize on an opportunity to recover lost margin in the chaos? For years, suppliers have been slashing prices and ultimately their profit with little opportunity for a reset. Will that pose this opportunity? Will some manufacturers leave the market if demand drops, leaving a handful left to control prices? And will manufacturers speed up the development on low cost solutions like sodium batteries or solid state solutions? These could offer consumers an alternative. Now, if China has around 80% of the market, who has the rest? Well, if China loses their competitive edge, will that well-known non-Chinese brand step in to save the day? Uh, ben, I think, <laughs> catch this. I think we messed this video up, you know. You're saying that Tesla is like a non-Chinese brand and it won't be affected by the rebate, but I'm sure the sellers are made in China, or there's some of them, are they not? I think they are, like I... I think they were, but they definitely make the battery in Nevada. That's some of them, isn't it? Well, the issue's gonna be if... I've got no idea. We'll ring Gary from Tesla, ask him. I reckon he will tell us, to be honest. Don't you get your sales from CATL? No, no, we, we do all our sale production in Nevada, so we're not impacted by this at all. So we were actually kind of celebrating it when it came out, so... Ah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Gary. Take care, brother. No worries. Bye -bye. Cheers, Bye. Now, Tesla were already making moves in the market ahead of this announcement. They recently launched with their £350 per Powerwall 3 rebate scheme. This is available to anyone who purchases a Powerwall 3 before March 31st via an improved installer, like the Performance Excellent Award installers, Heatable. But now the dominant supplier raises the floor. <laughs> I can't do that. But now the dominant supplier, the Chinese government, has raised the floor. Will Tesla respond with a new increased price structure? Okay, so this is potentially going to give you an edgy market now, isn't it? Because the... yeah, hundred percent. And then you and then you've got the rebate scheme to still stimulate it um, anyway. Exactly. So. Because for the first time in years, the market is offering margin again, and they could capitalise on this opportunity. Now, my prediction for Tesla is that they will probably hold firm on their current pricing model. They are already gaining ground back with the rebate scheme, and this new increased price point should make their product even more attractive to battery buyers. As for the Chinese market, my thoughts here are that the premium players who hold strong margins in their product will seize this as an opportunity to put greater pressure on the budget players. The lower end of the market already operates on razor thin margins, so they'll likely have no choice to increase their pricing, closing the gap between featureless entry-level products to feature-packed premium 
kit. Now, one of those premium players is SIG Energy. And as I mentioned before, I don't think they will actually increase their price. They already operate on probably a healthy margin. They have great traction in market with a strong market share. Why rock the boat if you have got it good? And on the subject of SIG Energy, if you are looking to buy one of those systems, then why not use the 2025 SIG Energy installer of the year? heatable and if you have enjoyed this video then you should definitely watch this one about why solar installers go bust in the uk if you've got anything to say on the matter drop a comment below and check are you subscribed to the channel yeah let's rock and roll